What's up, guys? So, Edder made us get off on the wrong stop. I didn't. It's actually Gio's fault. It's the right stop. Now we gotta walk for 32 minutes for that. He thought it was a two minute walk, it's a 32 minute walk. It says two minutes, bro. Come on. But anyway, we're trying to get to Mo Gym. This is a cool new gym downtown. And we're gonna get some sick shots in there. But uh, yeah, welcome to the vlog. We definitely gotta go eat at Mr. Beast Burgers. I really wanna try it because it's awesome and it's Mr. Beast, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to try it, but hopefully we will. Do you guys know who Mr. Beast is? He's one of the most famous YouTubers in the world. So he got a restaurant here in Chicago downtown. So we gotta go try that out too. And then uh, other than that shit, I don't know. We didn't really plan stuff like that, but like we seem to function better as group without planning shit, you know? And also, I'm not gonna stop fucking swearing. I'm gonna just bleep everything out because I swear too often. And like in the last video, I had to bleep out so many things. So, and then it sounds weird when I don't swear. It just, it just doesn't feel like me, you know? We got chest and back today. So I'll be uh, recording that workout. Uh, I might hit some other stuff just to make a little quick Instagram tutorial videos on certain workouts. So we're still walking because, uh, you know, some genius doesn't know how to use Google Maps. It's not a two-minute walk. 32-minute walks. We're 32-minute walk. We're about halfway there. So you know, okay, that's the kind of cardio we're getting for today. I actually haven't even uploaded the last last week's video. I'm trying to get the hang of editing, and then I just forgot to send it to my editor too. So you know, I promise things are gonna get a lot better now. At least one video a week. At least one. I'm gonna try to get two though. And uh, yeah, like I said. Comment down below anything else you guys want to see, you know, I'm open to more ideas and uh, I'm really active on Snapchat actually, so you guys should add me there, uh, you probably use it, I use that more than I use anything else, I'm trying to use TikTok more, I'm trying to use Instagram, I've been using Instagram, but it's just, that's not my favorite thing, but yeah, I'm trying to say that real quick before I get in the gym, because I, I, they better let us in, because it's a day pass, but sometimes they don't, they just give you a tour and you can't really work out. But yeah, see you guys at the gym. Alright, we're here. Exclusive access to the gym. Come on, let's go. Alright, we gotta turn the camera off because we're going in the locker room. But this gym's kind of small, but I really, really like the lighting here. I need to get some cool shots, so I'll see you guys after. You want to bang? You're dirty if you thought otherwise. That was easy, 4 by 10 we'll go a little heavier. I want to start with 80s, but I hate starting heavy, and then I gotta go lighter. I just like keeping it steady, if that makes sense. Can't sign up here because you only go to Dumbbells. You can't. If they don't have at least one free time, you can't go. And you see at least one. Can't go here. Can't go here. You need at least 150 pound dumbbells to be able to go to a gym. Trust. They do. They got some cool stuff here. Though. They do. This gym is pretty dope. Hey, exclusive only. You can't come if you're not paying. Yeah. So, do you guys are curious what gym it is? There's no point in asking. You can't get in. Alright, uh, I did decide to go up to 80, 70, 75. It's not as hard as it should be for me, so we'll see how we go. If anything, we'll go lighter.
Perfect. You gotta after this video. Oh yes sir. Oh sir, yes sir. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just like... I forgot the name. <laughs> oh, neutral grip. So, 3x10. So, you kind of go heavy on these? I really like going heavy on these. Here we go. Heavy itch. <laughs> oh my god, bro, this lighting is immaculate. <laughs> Come on, Anthony. I think you need to feed on some sense. the same girl at the same time. Oh, how's that working out for you? We haven't found the right girl yet. Imagine? You gotta equally love her. Right? We're always in love with the same girl too. Okay, but who's gonna marry you though? I don't know. I think we're gonna marry the same girl. Honestly. We're thinking about it, right? This girl, that way like... It's harder for her to cheat on us and all this stuff, you know. Exactly. Is that legal? It doesn't matter. We don't gotta get married. Girl. Wait, what, what part are you working on? Your back or what? Yeah. And then she catches us cheating on her with each other. <laughs> Decline flies. A little part of the chest. You ever want to get your chest to like poke out like this? Yeah, just decline. Back some. That's three by twenty. Get on your knees. I'm gonna do a standing. Three, four. So, you know, I hate to admit it, but I'm still pretty small. I'm still pretty small. What? I'm still pretty small. Oh, I mean, if you're gonna compare yourself to lighter wheels than you are. Yeah. But my coach doesn't want me to compete yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait another extra Don't year. Don't get big, bro. You even have bicep pain. Yeah. I mean, bicep pain, chest pain. Just in this guy's I just did it for a straight minute because I, I thought it was funny. Just because this guy's awesome. This guy's face awesome. Facial expressions. Man, watch the show. I have zoomed in on my face, too. Yeah, you will. When it airs, you can see my face all over the camera. We got two things left for back. We got wider lap pull downs and then rope cable pull downs. All right. Are you back, right? Yep. So I got cable rope pull downs. Uh, I believe it's 3 by 20 let me check. You know, I've been doing the same program for like seven weeks now and I still can't memorize it. 3 by 15 squeeze for one second at the bottom, pull, control oh. eccentric. I do, I don't know if I can attack my coach in here, he's a great guy. 
really, really been helpful, you know. Sometimes people think you only need a coach for a beginner, but that's not the case, bro. You want to compete, bodybuilding. Ideally, you're going to need a coach at least for your first couple of years. Even if you're experienced, bro, some of the best guys have a coach all the time. Anthony is definitely trying to steal my girl. Stealing Eddie's girl. Mr. Steel girl, how you feel about that, huh? You know, I feel like I always get the gym girls, so. It's his time to shine now, right? This is the prettiest one I've seen so far. Oh no, Maybe, oh, yeah, part she probably is. But yeah, I'll let him take it. I'll be, a, I'll be a good friend and let him take it. <laughs> there he comes. Yo, Anthony, what you been doing, bro? I uh, you know, just talking to my future wife, you know? Oh yeah, how's that going? Uh, it's been going pretty good. It's just, I can't let this guy have her because every time he gets a gym girl, he breaks up with her in three months. Yeah, it makes sense. You have to give us a chance, bro. That's not fully true. I lasted more than three months with the last one. We should actually might go visit her right now. <laughs> I want to. Where she work? Huh? Where she work? Go up. Export. Export. Oh, we're gonna go back to export too? Well, I want, uh, I mean, maybe, we'll see. First, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. We gotta, hey, low-key, we should go rock climbing. Sure, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking about it now. I'm really not good at holding relationships. I'm yeah. too indecisive, or like, it just doesn't work. I need it. Everyone's in the family, cuz. But we're young. You're young. Enjoy your life. There's no slut they put, shaming here. Especially with Hispanics. They try to put us and make us think small, you know? Yep. Like, why you gotta be with someone for so little? I wish I could be more like Gio. Gio keeps his girlfriend. My ass is fat, bro. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're done with the workout. That shit was good. I love this gym. If you're in Chicago, check out Mo Gym. I don't know if they got gyms anywhere else, but good gym, small, pretty compact, bro. It's awesome. So we're done. I'm about to change it to my clothes. We're gonna get some pictures just for Instagram, and then I don't know where we're gonna go eat, but we'll see you guys when we're walking. We are done. That was an hour and 50 minutes. The flexing was the hardest part. I think. It was. Not even burned, lie. All these calories were burned during flexing. Also, I got the cute girl's number, so yeah. Little does he know, I did too. Ah, <laughs> dude. Yeah. What the hell, bro? She was really, really cute, bro. But this idiot told her we were 18. We're not even <laughs> actually 18, though. We're older. I literally just said it as a joke. And then I'm over here like, why did this guy just say that, bro? <laughs> I'm actually trying to get her. Now she's like, she kind of treated us like we were kids, but we're not kids anymore. It's because it's, I, I'm so used to that. Like I'm so, I, I'm so used to like when people ask us those kinds of things, I, act, I started acting like how we used to act. Like, oh yeah, we're 18. Like just like that. It just came out naturally. But I'm like, this guy's not even 18 anymore. It came out naturally, bro. I'm a whole 20 now. I feel old. We got another 30 minute walk. Somebody doesn't know how to use Google Maps. Him. Hey, what's, what's your up? name, bro? What's your Gio. Instagram? Uh, Gio the Swimmer. At Gio the Swimmer. Gio the sure. Swimmer. Yeah. So we're going to put the camera over for now so it doesn't get wet. And we'll see you guys when we get to Giordano's, Giordano's or probably Giordano's. All right. Hey, right, guys. So we came to Giordano's, really iconic restaurant. And, uh, is it a Chicago restaurant? I think it's Chicago based. It's really good though. It is really good. Like, really the stuffed pizza is... Oh my god. It is really good. So, um, yeah, we kind of forgot to pull out the camera and I just remembered like, oh shit. But, um, there's not much to record. We're just eating. It's my cheat meal for today. And then, um, that, that was a really good workout. So, need to refuel. And then we gotta head back home. It's probably gonna take forever. Yeah. We just been talking about life. We'll probably talk about the more in the train, our first love and shit, first heartbreaks. Cause you know, we all go through it. What's good is that we all went through it at the exact same time. <laughs> really? We will tell you more about this on the train. Is next.
Doors open on the right at Clark and Lake. <laughs> Transfer to Brown and Blue Line trains at Clark and Lake. Okay. So I think I left off at something about my first heartbreak. Oh yeah. Okay, so that was I think I was 17. Yeah. So like three years ago now. Three years? Oh no. What? Oh yeah, three years ago. Wow. Pretty old. Oh, this cute little girl came up to me and then she asked for my YouTube channel. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. I did not expect that. Me either. I'll keep talking about her. Right, yeah. So there's this girl. I have been crushing on her for a long time in high school. What are we calling her? I'm gonna call her. I hope she's not subscribed. Let's call her Becky. Just call her Becky for now. Becky. She's back. Okay. So Becky. I thought she was. She was bad. And then uh, I she just was bad. She was. And then uh, I just I don't know why I, I just never decided to talk to her. And then one day we were at uh, I think it was an Arabic culture day, right? I believe so. Yeah. Oh, right, right. When when we were on the bus? Well, no, we were waiting there. Oh, right, right, right. she came out. And then this guy just was like, Hey, Becky, come here. I don't want to touch you. I'm like, Oh fuck. Yeah, yeah. So I should. Best way to put your friend on. I started shitting bricks. I just hugged her, I don't know what the fuck to say. And then, you know, fast forward, blah, 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 we started talking, and then, uh, man, I'll just be completely honest. I really liked that girl a month later. I just said, I love you. Apparently, I said it way too soon. And then she broke up with me. So. He needs advice. So, is there a time when you're supposed to exactly say, I love you? This I, I told you, and I said it. I mean, I, I assume, like, you can feel it. At Clark and Lake. Do you believe this guy? I don't know. Like, I thought you were supposed to say, I love you, when you feel it in your heart. I asked, like... I didn't uh, know there was a rule. Like, you were supposed to wait until a specific moment. I asked a few people before I said it. And state it was, and Lake is Everybody next. that I asked said Doors yes. Open on the and then everybody that asked state and afterwards Lake. was like, you shouldn't have done Transfer it. Transfer like, to Redline yes. Trains at State and Lake. I wish I had it, but it doesn't matter because we still ended up getting back together later on. And then breaking up again. How many times? Two. Oh, man. But that, that, that was pretty rough on me. It really actually was. I never experienced that in my life. There was one thing I remember specifically. I don't know if you remember it. When we were at, at this other school, we went to Limbloom, but instead to train because the pool in our school wasn't working and we were on the water polo team, we went to another school. And at that school... This oh, is State and Lake. Transfer to red line trains at State and Lake. At that school, this is an orange line train to this Midway. guy. At that school, we were like, okay, you know what? We both have crushes on these girls. We're gonna give ourselves a date. I, I don't remember exactly the date. Washington and Wabash about. is next. Yeah, oh. Doors open on the right I at think Washington it was, uh, and Wabash. October something. October. Connect to Metro and South Shore Line Station at October Washington 26 and Wabash. Yeah, yeah. We gave ourselves until that date to say, all right, that is the day that we are going to ask. Like, we have until that day to ask our crushes out or else we're never going to get with them. We're never going to try again. It's over completely. And wouldn't you know it that when we actually set that date, because of that set that we left right there, that's what actually led to a future, well, at least a little bit of a future with these girls. Yeah, because we had it. It was in our heads. We need to do this, and we did. That's basically a life's lesson. Always set goals in your brain. Always set yourself dates. And even if you might not hit your goal, if you if you at least hit half of that goal, then you still succeeded. Because at least you set a goal while other people, they're not setting goals and they're not getting anything done. And you're a lot further than you would have been if you hadn't tried. Exactly. Well, I, I don't know who said it specifically. Elon Musk. Something uh, like that. Elon Musk, he was like... Hey, if you're watching this, can I get sponsored by Tesla? Hell yeah. But yeah, so I was pretty sad. I talked to a, a couple of different girls throughout that year because it was my senior year. And that was a terrible idea. It was a terrible idea. None of those ended good. I hated all of them. <laughs> all of them, actually. Hell yeah. Every single last one of you. What were some of them? So you, you tried to get with Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez Jennifer Vergara, Khalifa, Mia uh, Khalifa. You tried to Elf Scarlett Elf. Johansson, Elizabeth yeah, Olsen. It was kind of a lot. Yeah. None of them were happy at all. I, I kind of just did it just to do it. I don't know. But yeah. But in the process of getting a heartbroken, it made us better. 
but I was in the gym just fucking pumping iron every day. I remember when I first got Harper Jones, happened before this guy. He was always making fun of me, like, bro, it cannot be that bad. A few months later, this guy's calling me crying in the shower. It was that bad. I didn't cry in the shower. I didn't call you crying in the shower. Yes, you did. I did. You only heard me cry one time. I was in the shower. I was not in the shower. I was in your shower, bro. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> no, stop. I had to but now, all of those feelings went into our muscles, and they are no longer with us except in our muscles. I would like to thank, uh, what was that? What was I calling you? Becky? Becky. I'd like to thank Becky for that 405 deadlift that one day and that 235 bench press when I was 17. I think it was like my, my like my six, seven months working out. If you observe unattended packages, vandalism, or suspicious activity, inform CTA personnel immediately. That's important. It's about vandalism. I apologize for those awkward pauses, but they won't shut up. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.